So you wake up in the morning. You guys have been staying at Gerald's place. Gerald is again on his uh, computer messing around on Facebook. It seems to be a morning uh, thing for him. You decide to ask Gerald to write out his own notes uh, about us just in case the worst case scenario happens. He says, Oh, good morning, no. Uh, yeah, that's probably a good idea. Do, do you need coffee? I, I made a pot of coffee. Uh, it's just, uh, it's just vultures. I hope that's okay. Um, you tell him to write down everything he knows and maybe teach him how to set up a dead man's switch. Uh, yes to coffee. Okay. Does he still, doesn't he know us as Ab? No, you immediately broke that guy's. You immediately told him that you were no, like five seconds after you told him that you were Abjur. So, yeah, no, he knows that Abjur and No are the same person, but you immediately broke your, your facade. So, that will work on other people, but not him, because he's you slept at his house. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and bring your wellness up by another five. And your can-do attitude is going to max out to 100, because you just had coffee. And nothing makes you have a better can-do attitude than that. So, there you go. Y you are You're doing better. You still shouldn't try to like, I don't know, run crazy miles, but you're you're better. He spends a little bit of time pulling out like a, a notebook and writing down all the information that you told him to because he agrees on what you were saying and uh, goes ahead and does that. We need to talk about what we're going to do today. We need to figure out where you were and what you did during this day. And if there's anything that we need to do to help with that, or if there's anything that we need to do that needs to happen. Now, is there anyone that's missing, or not missing yet, that does go missing later? We need to start figuring out when people go missing, and make sure we keep a, uh, a, a, uh, a, a tally on whether or not they're okay. We also need to plan for what we're going to do once whatever it, that thing is appears. You guys instructed me that you wanted to check over your notebook. Names of people that you know will disappear uh, are both of the Christophers, but you know of both of them. You know of Christopher as in Crystal's boyfriend as well as you ever have, but um, that would be, you know, you never met him, so there's no way of knowing whether or not he's okay or not. But you do know of the hotel manager, and yeah. Do you guys want to just fill him in, generally speaking, on um, everything that happened in the uh, last time on Town of Nowhere? Where is the thing for it? So just go ahead and tell him everything. He goes, oh, okay. Well, it might be worth going and checking out this uh, manager you were talking about. It might be worth seeing uh, if there's anything um, that we could do about that. It would be good to know exactly what he is and and whether or not uh, time is staying consistent. You make sure to let him know that dirt tastes bad. He kind of just stares at you for a minute and goes, Yeah, okay. I guess it's important for us to realize what we're up against. Helping learn anything about um, the... The creature, the thing that's doing this is helpful. Uh, understanding what your place in time and space is also important. Uh, do you remember anything about your encounter? Is there anything you can tell me that happened? We might be able to either figure out where it's going to be or uh, how to defeat it based on the information that we've got. You tell him that, you know, you went down there and everyone that was in front of you in the line was forgotten. Uh, as soon as it saw you, it just got deafeningly silent. You could only see it in the mirror and you were taken away before anything else could happen. You also tell him that it was kind of hot. He seems to ignore this because he's gotten kind of used to the weird things that you say. Alright, so it seems like everyone wants to go and check and see if the hotel manager is okay and uh, then go from there. So you tell him your plan and you ask him if he knows who Jonathan Briscoe and Mark are. He goes, oh, yeah, Mark lives in this apartment complex and uh, Jonathan runs the, the Ford dealership. So, um, yeah, he, uh, he likes trucks. That's about, that's about all we know. 
I mean, there's not much to say about him. He does his job. He, I don't really need a truck. This town's pretty small. I could just walk to, to Starbucks and back. And I mean, I'm basically retired at this point. So uh, whatever. Everyone's quoting two trucks by Lemon Demon now in chat. You begin singing it under your breath. He ignores this. So I guess you guys go ahead and start heading towards, uh, well, it's kind of a, it looks like more people voted to go to the motel than to the dollar store. Well, okay. Um, I'm going to go and check around town. I think we ought to meet back up at, uh, the Home Depot. So I'm going to try and get a job there. It seems like that's how you can go and see this thing. And if we ended up wanting to go and check that out, that seems like a good idea. So Gerald wanders out the door. Uh, he lets you out with him so he can lock the door behind him. And uh, make cast make TV. I mean, he's he's trying to get his day going on. Do, do you guys want to stay home and watch TV? Do, do you, are you guys just going to stay? Are you going to stay here and uh, watch TV all day? I feel like there's there's more important things to be doing. By the way, for the clarity's sake, did Gerald write down that stuff and did he do the dead man switch thing? Okay, so he definitely wrote down that stuff. Um, the dead man switch thing we need to address. So he's going to say, um, Well, it's a good idea. I'm not entirely sure how that would work. Uh, if the magic doesn't know that we exist as well after all of this happens, then we wouldn't be able to cast the spell. And, um, so we'd have to think about a different way of, uh, determining it. Maybe if it checks to see if we exist? If it knows who we are, then it doesn't do anything. But then if it doesn't know who we are, then maybe it, uh, it does something. Maybe like that. That might work. We could have it uh, just alert people. I'm not entirely sure who. Would someone have to be a car mechanic in order to create an engine out of magic? Um, it would definitely help. Yes. Um, you could cause it to do very bizarre things if it didn't work. It, it could only make things change based on um, the limits of physics to a certain extent. Yeah, STEM majors canon for good at magic. Yeah, basically. Uh, so you could you could do things that are uh, impractical or difficult to do normally, but you can just do by casting magic instead. Uh, you could just say, make a working engine, and then you would be able to do that. Being able to make a good working engine, one that uh, functions better than the average car engine, uh, would be something that you need to probably know what's going on. Because it's going to do the best it can to make a working engine, but it could be any kind of engine. And it could be way too powerful than what you want. Or what happens. Um, yeah. Uh, you go you go check on Christopher and you tell Gerald where you're about to go. And he says that he's going to go and get um, a uh, application and try and get into the ritual tonight. I'll see you later in... Uh Ab sure. Stay safe. And then he wanders off. Um, you start heading towards the motel. I don't think the vomit was on the bridge yet. That was uh, an episode or so from now, wasn't it? Anyway, you head towards the motel and you see yourself having a conversation with um, Christopher right now. You decide to stay back as to not actually intervene in that situation. But um, you are definitely having a conversation with him at this time. Vomit is on Friday. Yes. Okay. You're right. That was on a Friday thing. So that shouldn't be there yet. I'll, uh, I'll fix that. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, say that you guys are hiding and then open up redemptions for you guys to decide to do something else. And we'll assume that you did both the app and asked Gerald to make a spell that cast the dead man switch. You are currently hiding. Uh, do you want to run? You guys want to wait for the other you to leave, then go mirror the hotel lobby. And in the meantime, we decide to throw that ass in a circle. Just twerk while in your hiding spot, making sure that you really get it down. You know, th just because you almost died the other day doesn't mean that you can't break it down. And so you do. You wait until the other one, uh, no, 
goes away, and then uh, you decide you're going to go introduce yourself to Christopher as Abby, while still dressed up as a Home Depot employee. The simple zest of life. I think we should get some sort of stat increase for that. We'll, we'll just make sex appeal go up by 10. Because you learned how to twerk. The other you goes off uh, down the bridge and um, smartass skill, sure. I'll up your smartass skill by like a couple, sure. Let's let's break you to an even 30 of smartass. You walk up to uh, Chris and introduce yourself as Abjur. Someone new, uh, and not and not someone you've been speaking to. Um, he says, uh, "Well, do you uh, do you have a uh, appointment?" Quickly, while he uh, turns away to go check uh, some other stuff, you uh, pull out the mirror and start swiping it around the room real quick and put it away before he actually has a chance to look at you again. Seeing nothing new, nothing uh, in the lobby area that indicates that there is anything amiss. And you put it away quickly before he notices. Um, is there something I can help you with? Home Depot. We've heard reports of muggings at night. Stay away from the sewer. Don't walk around at night. The safer neighborhood watch. Home Depot. When you're here, you're family. We're conducting a census as part of the neighborhood watch. We need to know everyone that you know in this book, Home Depot. He goes, I don't give information out about people who are staying here, so uh, uh, I, I can't do that. But I'll, I'll tell you about people who live in town. It's part of the job. You have to understand. Um, he looks over your very legitimate looking notebook and uh, writes notes next to pretty much everyone you would expect uh, not next to Gerald's friends uh, but not next to um, let's see anyone else who else is missing at this point that's pretty much it I think Home Depot fair enough yeah I don't, I don't really plan on actually going near the uh, sewers that's um, it's a weird thing to do uh, but thank you for telling me. I'm going to have to ask you to leave now if you don't have business here. He hands you back your notebook. It has signatures next to things. Um, next to names. Noah. Uh, Daryl. Uh, the mayor guy himself. Uh, Noah. Raymond. Um, trying to think of anyone else. Um, Mary. Yeah. Crystal, sure, yeah. Frame him for the bank robbery. How do you, uh, how do you plan on doing that? Um, he knows who Salmon is, yeah. All right, so, uh, you decide to advise them, uh, to be safe before leaving. I guess you ask him about the vampire. He says, you mean Sam? Uh, yeah, uh, he, you know, just don't open your door at night. He's fine. Uh, he's perfectly fine during the day. He just gets hungry sometimes, and... I don't know. You, you, you've been around here town for a while, I would assume. Um, I don't know. You Home Depot types. Um, you give him a $15 tip and tell him to have a nice day. Then you go to the uh, dollar store. Okay. Fair enough. You give him $15 for no real discernible reason. Tell him to be safe and leave. Uh, you go to the dollar store. You walk on over to the dollar store. You don't see yourself on the way over. If you remember correctly, you should be at the uh, the city hall at this time. So you probably won't run into yourself at this point. You bust out the mirror and don't see anything uh, of note. Morgan is here now. You can see her. She's doing her best. She's restocking the shelves. This is a mostly, like, impossible task. She takes... It looks like a box has been set up for her. She flies into the box, pulls something out of the box, flies into the shelf drops it off and then goes back and continues to do that this is difficult for her because everything is about as big as she is but she's doing her best so uh someone asked do you have a specific it was an anon um while you guys are voting this gives people who are on after hours something to like listen to do you have specific ages in mind for the main town of nowhere cast 
I say vaguely speaking, yes. Crystal is in her early 20s. Raymond is a few thousand years old. Kevin is in his early 60s. Uh, Gerald is in his, I said he's, but in his 70s to 80s. Morgan is young, but to the equivalent of being about 14 to 18. Noah is at least 80 years old. Time is largely irrelevant to the Home Depot entity. The Home Depot employees are kind of random ages because anyone can work there. And Roger is in his mid-30s. Daryl is obviously roughly the same age as you, but a little bit older. She continues to stock the shelves as you go up to her and say, You're doing amazing, Home Depot. Does anyone else work here? Home Depot. She says, Yeah, um, I, I'm, this is, I, I just started working here the other day, but, uh, yeah. Um... Does she have a quiet voice? She does. Well, she's small, so she can't be very loud. She's doing her best. What happened to her tiny smoker's voice? I'm sorry. Um, I, I forgot. Anyway, uh, you decide to spend $15 in things for your friendship bracelet. You weren't able to find a camera. Uh, it is no longer 1990-something where you can get disposable cameras in dollar stores. You tell Morgan to stay safe and stay away from sewers and not to go out at night and check mirrors. She goes, okay. You buy some candy. Uh, how much do you want to spend on candy? I got a link to the dollar store spray paint if you want. R th really? Okay. Uh, I guess I'll let you guys buy it then. $2 it is. I'm going to take $2 from you guys, but now you have candy, which is an improvement of where you were previously in your life. I believe you spent, uh, God, how much did you spend on everything else? I need to take out some money for tax. I think you spent... 15 before that, so 17 times 1.825. Buy candy, buy a mirror and a pair of glasses. Uh, mirror, pair of glasses, monocle. Slash monocle. Okay, you could probably get reading glasses. You can buy reading glasses at the dollar store. My mom does that sometimes in order to... Because, uh, I mean, reading glasses are kind of the same regardless. So she'll buy several because she you know, tends to lose them. Um, is aluminum easier to create than plastic? These are very sciencey questions, and I don't know the uh, the correct answers to that. Um, but uh, aluminum could be found and then harvested. Plastic is renewable within the constraints of living matter that is, you know, pressurized and crushed and turned into oil, and then oil is turned into a byproduct that is turned into plastic. So there's a limit on how much aluminum you could make without crashing meteorites into earth but uh you could make theoretically a lot of plastic up to the limit of what earth can contain so yes however making plastic could cause bones i mean you could just create plastic by melting your own bones into oil then refining it into plastic so it would be good to specify where you'd want that to come from Aren't you forgetting there's a limited amount of oil? There is a limited amount of oil. Yes. Um, however, if you created new life and then pressurized it into oil, <laughs> you could do that. <laughs> um, please don't make our bones into plastic. I mean, that's up for you guys to decide. It looks like you guys also want to buy mirrors and stuff. So I'm going to um, cut out some money just for that. So let's say... That probably would cost you like five bucks to make mirrors and stuff. You spend a little bit of money on uh, stuff for your mirror glasses. You can now essentially have mirrors all of the time. So anytime you want to use a mirror, you can just wear your glasses. We will still be representing it by the regular mirrors, but uh, why would you ever take off the glasses? I mean, I guess so. You could walk around with the mirror glasses all the time. Uh, you ask Morgan to sign a notebook for the neighborhood watch. She says, um, no, I, I would have to get a manager for that. And I don't, I don't, I'm kind of busy right now. I'm sorry. Hey, would you like me to call a manager? You say, yes, I would like to speak to a manager. No. Okay. You go, no, it's okay. You don't, you don't need, uh, you, you don't need to do that. Home Depot. Eat free. All right. So cool. Uh, buy a tape recorder or something and get a verbal record of people. So I don't think you can really do that. Head to bank and or check on Gerald. Uh, Gerald still exists, according to your memory. You decide to head to the bank. 
after buying a Zoo Pals uh, thing because that needs to happen. So you spend a dollar on Zoo Pals plates. They're, they're like... Just look up what Zoo Pals are. I don't want to have to explain to you what Zoo Pals are. Um, just because it's it's difficult to understand and explain. But uh, you just buy like a package of Zoo Pals. Uh, you start heading towards the bank and you thank uh, Morgan for her work. On your way to the uh, bank, you have to, again, step aside. Because at the 7-Eleven, there is the other no. You book it past the 7-Eleven while you're having a conversation with... Um, zombie inside the uh justin is at the counter speaking to the other no you head to the bank standing outside of the bank um you guess need to have a plan on what you want to do inside the bank you head into the bank um and use the mirror immediately there's no blood but he is there modern mirrors don't use silver so you can see him does the lack of silver affect the mirror at all? You've only used this one mirror to ever look at anything, but probably not. Why is silver holy? Because, I don't know. Jesus? Hi! Welcome to, uh, to, to the bank. Uh, can I help you with anything today? You decide to talk to him and get him to sign the notebook using your standard Home Depot. I'm doing a, a survey of the community. Would you mind signing all of these names, Home Depot? Uh, sure. Uh, do you have a, uh, is there an account that you have here with us as well? Also, I'm gonna have to ask you to remove your hood while you're inside the bank. It's a, it's a state law thing. Uh, I'm sorry. And you ask him if you've seen a big bird going around and killing people. He says, um, no? You say, I'm not wearing a hood. I have a skin condition. Maybe I should just leave. This infringes on my rights, Home Depot. You didn't hear it from me, but... Word on the street is the hotel owner is planning a bank robbery. Home Depot, have it your way. And then you leave. <laughs> Says... Okay, bye. You go back outside. Not really sure what you were attempting there. The other you leaves the 7-Eleven and heads straight to the church. You go to the Home Depot. Uh, the other you is still at the uh, church. Gerald comes out, but he's wearing like a Home Depot outfit. The only reason that you know it's him is because he directly starts talking to you and says, It's me, Gerald. Hello, Ab. I should probably come up with a secret name, too. Um... You just know that it's me, okay? I decided it was probably a good idea if we decided to go and both do this thing. I want to see this for myself. We might have a little bit of time beforehand to, uh... Randis? Okay. Jerry, Jerry, Jerry. Uh, Jerry. Okay, Jerry. Funkmaster J. Okay, Big Papa. Why don't we go ahead and go to, uh, to, uh, Starbucks. And we can, uh, maybe, uh, wait some time. Apparently things aren't going to kick off until later today. Big Papa and Funkmaster J. <laughs> Would you like to go to Starbucks with Gerald? Or, excuse me, Funkmaster J? Big Papa, you decide to head out of the way of the past you as best as you can in order to avoid uh, confrontation. Uh, they've wandered over to the Randalls now. You head to Starbucks with um, Funkmaster J and head on inside. The new person says, hey, welcome to Starbucks. Let me know if you need anything. You bust out your mirror. There's still blood on the counter, not not on Funkmaster J. Uh, just, you know, the way I've set this up, it looks like there's blood on Funkmaster J. I apologize. Also, Funkmaster J is still the regular size. I just, uh, here, just, you move over a little bit. There we go. You look at it for a name tag, but don't see one. Uh, you put the mirror away uh, after attempting to look for a name tag and say, Crystal, 
You look different. He says, uh, oh, nah, um, I'm just taking over her shift. She's really tired. I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, she just, I don't know. She works too hard. Um, I don't really know. I don't really know how to, like, make stuff, but, uh, that, uh, I'm Christopher. If there's anything I get you, I, I can make basic coffee. I just, she needs, like, a, she needs, like, a day off, honestly, and, um, you know, this place needs to hire someone else, but, you know, there's no one working over her, so who's gonna know? Just don't tell anyone, all right? You can call me Chris. You decide to ask Funkmaster J if he met the manager. He says, no, but we should probably go and see him later. You decide to whisper to Gerald. He gets got tonight. Like, he gets got at some point soon. You convince him to, uh, sign the notebook. Home Depot, we're doing a survey for who is in this area for the government, Home Depot. This this definitely means that you're very credible. Mirror again, you pull out your mirror again, there's still blood on the counter. Uh, he goes, yeah, alright man, um, yeah, just sign off on the people I know. And, uh, that sounds fine. You, uh... Show him the notebook and, uh, get him to sign off on people. Yeah, uh, uh, Crystal, uh, Crystal was telling me about you, uh, kind of weird that you come back to the same place. I mean, she's the only one who works here. I don't know what that's about, but whatever, man. You show him the blood. And you, you tell him, like, hey, like, we need to go, Home Depot. It's not safe here, Home Depot, Fear the Reaper. Um, he says, uh... Yeah, man, uh, I, I gotta stay, though, like, uh, I can't just, like, leave my shift. Like, uh, my, my girl's kind of dependent on me. She, she told me that I should stay. Uh, that's weird with the blood and all, but, uh, you know, I don't know. It's weird stuff going on every now and then. It's fine. There's blood, man, you say. But, uh, yeah, it's, uh, not, it, it, it it's, What's, who's to stop you from leaving? Well, I mean, like, someone's got to run this place. And, you know, they know whether or not the alarm is on. And they know whether or not the cash register is being used and all that. This is corporate will know. Man, I don't, my, I don't want her to get fired. You warn Chris about suspicious bird figures. Okay. Uh, do, you, do you mean Raymond next door? He's fine, dude. Uh, I, are you new here? Like, he's, he's chill. He's kind of weird. He says some s weird stuff every now and then. But, like, you know, once you get used to him, he's all right. Funkmaster J just standing there trying to figure out what to do in this situation. You just begin crying and saying, Not Raymond, dude. I love him. There's this thing in the sewers. And there's some people missing. And Chris, you got to come with us because you're going to go missing too. Just keep an eye on mirrors, dude. Just don't go outside or no, that one's an instruction for you. Just don't, don't, just use a mirror. Do you want to give him your old mirror? Gerald, help us out here. Funkmaster J, please help me. Well, um, there's something going on in this town, and, um, I think it'd be best if you, uh, go ahead and lock up for the night. Um, yeah, I mean, that, that's, that's cool, y'all, um, but... I'm gonna have to ask y'all to leave, cause um, you kinda, you kinda freaking me out. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I don't know you, and uh, now I kinda regret signing anything that you gave me. Um, this is um, this is kinda weird. Um, I don't really want to call the cops, but I, I kinda do want you guys to leave. You continue to flash the mirror around the room. Further proving that you are a completely sane, normal individual who spins around with Zoo Pal's paper plates and a mirror to check on it randomly and frantically. We have the mirror glasses, so there's no reason to keep whipping out the mirror. I suppose so. Uh, we're going to have to deal with the old graphic until uh, I can have a chance to actually upgrade. Um, you give him the old mirror and you leave. You go back outside, and it's starting to get late in the day. Uh, the meeting with the Home Depot manager will be soon. You stand a little bit away from the doors, as such to not be caught by him. Thought we bought multiple mirrors at the dollar store. 
Uh, that was fairly high up there. Would you guys like to say that you bought multiple mirrors? And then you just gave a mirror to, um, Chris? Well, I thought we were buying, like, friendship bracelet stuff and the stuff to make. We bought, like, five? Okay. I think you should be at, um, all right. So, with the understanding that you already have mirrors, you give an extra one to Gerald. So you give uh, Gerald one of the mirrors and he starts scoping around, kind of like slowly spinning in place, like, you know, attempting to tactically spin around. Uh, if we have more than one mirror, why do we make a monocle? Uh, I went with that you guys got like reading glasses and use that to make your mirror glasses. Um, I used to have like this Captain Crunch, or no, it was Captain, uh, it was um, Cinnamon Toast Crunch like back of the box mirror glasses spy glasses that you like cut off the back of the box and you could like see behind you the, the sides i assume it was something like that uh made it a like broken mirror bits um very very jank but good enough to be able to see behind you i guess while still being able to see forward you're spinning around trying or he's spinning around trying to see if he sees anything you're yelling for raymond to come outside Chris has decided to lock the door now because this is obviously getting weird. And um, you're searching for anything and anything that you could to, like, board up the, the sewer grate. Searching around for a bit, you don't find anything. It's kind of just like an empty, like, street. But you are attempting to find something. Big Papa! He's on the phone! I think he's calling the cops! We need to bounce! You're screaming, Raymond, come outside! Shit's about to go down! We need to board up the, the sewer! There's a bird in the sewer! There's a bird in the sewer! Ask Chris if he's ever seen an ass do this and throw it in the biggest circle you can. You go to the window and you like yell at the window. You go, hey, have you ever seen an ass do this? And, <laughs> and then throw it in the biggest circle you can. Just twerk it like crazy <laughs> and then naruto run with gerald to the uh home depot you hear sirens as you start to just bail you make it to the home depot without being accosted you're at home depot now there's still no blood here i don't think there's anything we can do for him i'll be honest with you we can warn him but we don't have a plan on how to deal with this thing we need to come up with a plan. If we can take people without us knowing, we need to come up with some sort of plan. We know... We know he's gone tonight, and I don't know if there's anything we can do. Also, I don't really know why I did that. Or why you did that, I mean. The, uh... The meeting should be soon with the manager. I'm gonna be honest, I think that could have been handled a little bit better. I... I kinda don't think I would have believed you if I hadn't seen the evidence that you've shown me. Um... That was kinda fucking weird, dude. I'm gonna, uh, dock a few points from, uh, Gerald's respect from you because that was legitimately a weird thing you've just done. Like... Gerald already has evidence of what you, like you said, is true. That the timeline stuff is true, um, in the very least. He doesn't have exceedingly good proof that the, uh, bird bastard thing is real. But there's enough that evidence of everything else and the fact that there's blood that you can't see normally. That, that seems like, you know, it... He believes you just for the sake of that, despite the fact that you're acting weird, it makes sense. You say, thanks, man. I just, I don't know. Thank you for sticking by my side. I, I panicked, and I just didn't know what to do, and I just... When I panic, I twerk, I guess. Um, it's just a weird thing I do. Have you, <laughs> have you ever seen an ass like this? <laughs> Crying. Oh. Um, can our sex appeal please go up? No, that's, that's fucking weird of you. Um, um, well, okay. Um, what's our next plan now? 
I mean, we can go see the manager, and that might be a decent plan, but, uh, I don't know what information he could give us. Alternatively, we could try and protect Chris, because we know that something's going to happen, but uh, doing that seems, um, dangerous without a, a good plan if we don't know what we're going to do. We clearly need to cast some sort of spell. I think that's the only way of dealing with something that out walks outside the bounds of what we understand. You say, my motivations can't be understood. I've been under the future, man. He says, I, I know that. Uh, can, can we make like a rope control or remote controlled mini helicopter with guns and a camera? I'm, yeah, I guess we could do that. Magic has limitations on what we can do to affect something like that. My theory is that we can't see it, and it may be impossible for us to directly interact with it. Um, I, I think that if we decide to have some way of maybe uh, doing something as soon as we do see it, just having a plan of action for when something goes wrong, it should be safe to do that. It unfortunately means that we're going to have to use someone that we know who's going to disappear as bait. Do a quick journal check to see if anyone's missing. Everyone that you knew was around this morning is still around, including Chris, uh, both the motel guy and the boyfriend guy. Both of the Chris's still exist. Do you think splashing it with paint will work? Well, you said it was covered in blood, and I, I don't know if that was just because it made us forget those people and therefore their blood and all evidence of their existence was also gone um, but I would hazard a guess and say probably not um, it seems to have some ability to make it slip between our ability to understand things are happening the combination of you not being able to hear anything when it witnessed you and uh, you not being able to see it in anything other than the mirror um, leads me to believe that there was no way to directly experience it. The mirror may be the only way of working around it. Quickly ask Gerald what his favorite color is. Um, I mean, I, I kind of like black and I think blue is a pretty color. I don't really know what that has to do with anything right now. Do, is that the color paint you'd like to splash on it? You decide we should go in and see, uh, this Home Depot entity real quick and, um, yeah, we, we should go check on this Home Depot entity thing and partake in the cult, but don't do anything during it. Just let Gerald see. So you go into the uh, the Home Depot. Uh, careful to keep your guys up because the other no is here. And setting up for the ritual. Well, there's a couple of uh, cultists who've already started chanting. They're chanting phrases loudly. You're there with everyone else. And then things get very, very loud and very, very quiet all at the same time. Then suddenly, as if on cue of you guys showing up, the other you seems incredibly alarmed. You remember being there and seeing that and being confused and being scared. The other you is, you know, going with the chanting, saying, Home Depot, Home Depot, tastes like home, talk like depot. How am I, am I gonna get paid for this? Am I gonna get paid? The here, 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 here. Done well in keeping his hands. You see, there is a problem. Even they and I aren't able to to hand to hand and to hand and to hand require your assistance. And are we really the only we one people fighting this? Yeah, but Even this town is, is, is unable for me to see. No matter which angle, no matter which spot I go to, I cannot comprehend it. This is a habit. I need to be eyes open. My friend, 
have been helpful. They are not able to help in this way. They are too wrapped up in what's happened in this town. You are new here. You can know to know these things that they do need to start, start, start. To things are being forgotten. Things are being taken. I, 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 I cannot say, but say, kiss, today, kiss. Making notes and ref have been helpful, but they are not able to help in this way. They are too wrapped, too wrapped in what's happened in this town, town. Burn new, burn new here, burn new here. You can notice the notice these, the notice these. You need to start taking notes. And everything. Things are being forgotten. Things are being taken. For what reason? By whom? You cannot say. This with this fit me. Have been helpful, but they. Please do this for me. The no. I am not the man. The no goes. Are, are you the manager? Am I gonna get paid for this? And then throws his, or their Bible, missing entirely. The Bible sliding across the floor, missing you in the process. Are you the, are you the manager? And then you, the other you starts furiously taking notes on everything that's going on in the newly handed to them notebook that they got. Is, did Noah get the cactus? I am not the manager. You are your own thing. You can make choices, but ah, that you do that these are unable to achieve what you can achieve. I have been waiting for you, no. I have been waiting for you so long. Whether or not what has happened or cast tell you confident that LinkedIn and received it and enjoyed it. I saw this. The fancy things when this happened here. What's happening to me? Lord of the followers, all of this town. This is this test. Dude, I am. I am energy. The other you begins to say, Who can we trust? Can we trust Noah? Who are you? What are you? How much time do we have to talk? Is there someone in this town who's our enemy? They just start ripping pages out of the notebook, throwing it on their ground. Not know, not know is it. I, 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 are you my sister? I, not know, not know is it. I do you know in a house in a house tennis, there, there's a letter that is addressed from you to her. You must find it. Maybe, 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 senior mission, senior mission. Elise is not the being nor the ambulance. This is not my doing. You know? Understand what is happening here. Will allow my followers to go. It is beneficial to you and finding sister. It's beneficial to me and and expanding my reach. Beneficial, beneficial town. Something is taking people, things, ideas. I am not your, not your sister, not your. Oh, did this music stop? No, oh, I need music. Sorry about that. That was a mistake. Um, the other you goes. Who can we trust? Can we trust Noah? Who are? What are you? What? What? What can we do? Do? How much time do we have to talk? Is someone in the town really our enemy? You are not. You are not. 
tell the can be the dogs off. That silence was a gosh, sorry. We can we can 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 this this problem. No seems as seems as trustworthy as anyone when this town, but I do not know what is happening here. Here, I do not know who you can trust. Trust not who you're in. Who you're in. A M M B. I have 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 been, and will be, and have been. Not me. I do no no taking. It's just taking. taking. We have very little to little time. Any questions? Questions? This them to my them to my must. I've been instructed to them as best can. Their limited time reach can be done. Just her, just her, sorry, and just go, go, go. What's happening? You, you are not safe. No one, no one, no one is safe. Not, not, not friends, 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 friends. Not your favorite, favorite. Please, please. You are not safe. The other you says, how do we prepare? Where do we begin? When can we speak to you again? How can we trust you? C can we get close? Can you get closer to the hot spot? I can't really understand you. What should I be cautious of? How do I stay safe? How do I fuck a house? Find any information from you can understand and return. Time is short tonight. I you will not be able to do to do undiscovered. My Life will swill tomorrow, tomorrow in the morrow. Daryl will leave his house. They will make sure that you are safe to make your approach. Enter his ha 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 Find this. We will be able to able to see able to able to tomorrow 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 tomorrow. Communicate can take different different. Will not will be available be available. No, how, no, hell you, how, 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 I do not know where they think they're being taken. They are being taken out of time and space beyond my ability to find them. Whether or not you judge ch ch me is up to you. T t I cannot tell you to judge ch ch me because that would involve a bubble trusting me to begin with. Let's go now. Go on your venture. I wish you well. Any. And just as loudly and silently as he came into being, he disappears entirely, leaving everyone to stare at the other no, to just look at them, and... Home. Depot. Beef is what's for dinner. The ultimate driving machine. Home Depot. The cultists wander off as Noah, or no, excuse me, picks up the other Bible. Did I get the job? We will assist you home. You have been chosen by the god to make this journey is beyond our ability and our goals to do this we will bring you home you do have the job home depot taste the rainbow you thank them for their help you ask if it was paid training yes he hands you a twenty dollar bill home depot Good hands with Home Depot, Home Depot. The rewards for being here, working at Home Depot, are far beyond money. And from there, um, am I just playing the VOD? No, shut up. Anyway, um, the other you begins to get escorted. There's a horrible smell of garlic being burned. The, uh, the other cultists uh, are surrounding No to allow them to go home. Do you want to go? Or I guess I could allow you guys to do things now. Since you guys decided you didn't want to do anything to interrupt the thing. Off the top of he your head, you remember who Raymond and both of the Christophers are. In fact, you know that everyone's there. Aside from, you know, the people who have gone missing that we know of already. 
You sideline Funkmaster J, and you ask him, Do you know any incantations for sealing and banishing? He says, Well, he's usually a little bit more specific than that. Um, we'd have to know what we were doing. I, I think a, a more blunt force approach might be the trick. I'll, I'll think of something. Uh, if you think of something, let me know, but... If we can't experience it, if we can't directly interact with it, I don't imagine that the magic will be able to either. Unless if we're looking at it directly. There's no real safe way of actually going and interacting with it, I think. The procession is leading the other no outside, and um, you have just decided to go back to Gerald's place and practice magic. You see yourself going home a couple of times on the way home, but don't interact. You were enough behind them that you didn't uh, get seen. And uh, you head on back home. Gerald removes his hood as soon as you guys get home. Um, and he says, We, uh, we did a lot today. And not all of it I understood. Do you still remember Christopher? You still remember everyone that you remembered this morning? Um, I didn't understand a lot of what we did today, but I understood some of it, and I think we did the right thing. I know this, I know this hurts, but I don't know as if there's anything we can do for, for Crystal's boyfriend. If, um, if we could, it would be good, but I, I don't know what to do. And we're the only people who can stop this thing at this point. And going in half-cocked is gonna just get ourselves killed. And if we die, and no one is around to actually deal with this situation, if no one knows how to deal with it as well as we do, we're not gonna be able to have anyone stop it, and it's gonna keep terrorizing this community. We're gonna have to come up with a plan before... It takes anyone else. Either way, you guys go inside. You decide to blast the song simple, clean, and, and cry while making a friendship bracelet, and you confide in Cheryl. That it feels like you don't know what you're doing, and you feel pretty bad that you couldn't help Chris, and maybe you cry a little bit. And specifically black and blue, because Gerald likes those colors. Exactly, yes. And he says, Ew, uh, There's a lot... There's a lot that happened today, and it's reasonable to feel like you you can want to save everyone, but um, we have to come up with a plan, and we have to come up with one soon. If we still remember Chris in the morning, we'll try and save him. We can easily cast a spell to find him if we still know who he is. And we can come up with a plan and um, do something. Maybe we'll think of something. Right now, we just need to do the best we can. If we don't know how to go into this, if we don't have a plan of what we're going to do when we see it, we're just going to get ourselves killed. I'm sorry, no. I know this is hard, Big Papa. But it's... It's just what we have to do. You make a, a bracelet for him out of black and blue and spend some time learning magic. I'm going to bump you up to 14 because you spent a little bit of time working on it. Um, and I think, I think that's where we call the stream for tonight.